Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my April favorites and my list is pretty short this month actually since I've been on a bit of a spending freeze. I am trying to use up some of the things I have before I go out and purchase new ones and trying to sort of wear what I have in my closet, style things new ways. Um, I will probably do some videos featuring a little bit more of why I'm doing this and um, the, the short answer is that I pretty much have been spending too much money. I have too many things. The volume of things seems to never um, go down and that is sort of what I'm trying to get to, a more um, minimal, I guess if you want to call it that, lifestyle. Again, I'm not a minimalist by any means, but I do want to love, appreciate, and use what I have and not be constantly bringing in new stuff and just have a revolving door of um, you know fashion, beauty, and other things that I tend to accumulate lots and lots of so you're gonna be hearing more about that on my channel but uh, yeah my list is pretty short this month since I haven't really purchased anything new um, but I do have a few favorites that I wanted to share with you so starting with a few beauty products I have these lipsticks from Chanel these are the Rouge Coco Shine formula um, ever since I have started back at work on a new project there have been two lipsticks I've been wearing nonstop. The first one is number 67 in DeVille. And this is a nice sort of nude brownish color, pinkish brownish color. And uh, the other one is the Rouge Coco Shine in number 54 Boy, which I know a lot of you are familiar with. This is a cult classic that they have actually discontinued um, in this formula. I have not yet tried the new Coco Flash formula, but um, this one is just so perfect for um, a nice, comfortable, everyday lipstick to wear to the office when you're looking for something that is very subdued, but still um, gives your lips a little bit of natural color. So. I'm really disappointed in that. Um, haven't yet tried the new formula, but will definitely share when I do and uh, won't be anytime soon since I haven't really been purchasing anything. Like I said, I'm trying to use up some of the things I have before I just keep bringing more in. Um, so yeah, I'm disappointed in hearing that, but I absolutely love these and will continue using them while I still can. <laughs> My next favorite for the month is a fragrance, and I have two products that are from the same line. It's the Chanel Number no. 5 Low, and I have the All Over Body Spray, which I have been using every single day as I've been going into the office. It's a really nice, light spray that isn't overpowering, and I feel like it doesn't project a ton of um, fragrance from far away so you it definitely stays close to the skin and you can smell it on yourself but people all around you won't necessarily smell it unless they get up close to you so I'm really enjoying this um, as well as the number five low this is the hand cream but I have been actually using this underneath I've kind of been layering these two so I put this on in the morning when I get out of the shower I just kind of apply it on my hands and arms and a little bit on my decollete and I feel like the combination of this layered over this helps it stay a little bit longer and it's just beautiful and I can reapply the hand cream throughout the day and still get that beautiful light smell of um, Chanel number no. five so really really enjoying these products and I've got a couple of go-to wardrobe staples that I have been wearing um, Again, to the office, the first one is this sweater blazer from J. Crew. I got this, I think last year, possibly the year before. I have it in several colors now, and it is just such the perfect thing for when it is cool in the morning, cool in the evening, and warm during the day, but I'm in an office during the day, and it's freezing in the office. So you can just throw it on pretty much over anything that you would throw a cardigan or a blazer over, and it's that perfect kind of in-between that's very great for kind of a business or business casual environment. And my other fashion favorite for the office has to be my Anina Bang Madeline blazer. I absolutely love this blazer. It works really well paired with a pair of kind of black skinny pants um, as well as a black skirt or you can wear it over a pair of jeans. It's just really really versatile. It seems to go with everything. I love that it has this little pop of red in it and I just think it kind of livens up any outfit and it really does the whole boyfriend blazer um, or oversized blazer um, style with 
without it being too boxy and too oversized. So for me, this is absolutely my favorite blazer in my closet. And a quick favorite accessory are my Celine Sunnies. I have several different pairs that I have accumulated over the last few years. Another reason I am not purchasing any more sunglasses right now, but I absolutely love this pair in particular. I can't remember the style name. I will leave it down below, but I know they are the baby it's not the Audrey's because I have those as well, but they're the baby something else. And um, I absolutely love them. They just fit really nicely. I love wearing them a little bit low. Um, and I just think they are, I love the colors on them. They kind of have that fade from um, black into tortoise and they are just really, really perfectly sized sunglasses and they go with everything and I just absolutely love them. So these are definitely a favorite for the month of April. And I should mention that I am planning to do a sunglasses collection video soon, so stay tuned for that coming up in the next month or so. And last but certainly not least is my handbag favorite for this month, which has to be my Saint Laurent tote. I have been using this every single day as I go into the office and it just carries everything looks amazing, is very simple, classic, and understated, and it just very easily kind of goes over the shoulder, which is how I wear it most days. Um, I have had absolutely no problems with this. I did do a what's in my bag video with a short review of this bag um, a few videos ago. If you want to check that out, if you want more information about this bag and how it's been holding up, I just absolutely love it. Uh, like I said, it works with everything, and I think it's a really nice understated bag for work. And that is it for my April favorites this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.